This is Mario with MIA Microflight and in this video I'm going to be talking about the typical paraglider. This is a radio control parafoil or paraglider wing and what I want to focus on is the complexity of these uh, wings. Paraplanes, paragliders or powered parachutes if you will are very nice uh, types of aircraft they use a flex wing which is uh, nothing more than uh, a sail made up of uh, ripstop or similar materials but they are very complex in the sense that they use numerous lines or cables you know to uh, give the model the particular airfoil shape when it's under tension meaning when the wing is in flight there's a wind pressure that forms the, uh, the sail and that shape is due to the particular lengths of cables that are attached to the underside of the sail or the wing. One of the main things that has uh, deterred me from making uh, a product using this type of uh, wing is the complexity and the rigging of the cables. This came from uh, Hobby King, it's one of the cheaper ones that they sell and I think uh, if you go online you'll see many many videos of people that have attempted to fly this in the stock form uh, which they haven't because the lines are not set up properly as you receive this from Hobby King. I don't know if they changed that in, the, in recent uh, times but as of today May 25th 2018 um, you know this is the wing that I bought a while back I don't know I think I had this wing for a couple of years I bought it with the intention of using one of my MIA trikes that I use on the Quicksilver style ultralights or the auto gyros or the uh, micro lights even you know those are slightly different frames but they all would work here because they're trike style frames provided you know the propellers is guarded so the lines don't get tangled with it so just to uh, give you an idea of the complexity of this type of wing you have 14 lines per side there's a total of 28 lines here that make up this uh, sail. I'm just talking about the lines that go to the risers, which are these sections here that attach the pilot harness. If you multiply those 28 lines times 3, which are triangulated and attached to the underside of the wing, you know, you have quite a lot of lines, you know, in, in, a, in a wing of this type. And given that this is just a, an RC version the same thing happens with the real ones so this has been a big deterrent uh, for me in making a, uh, a paraglider uh, and, and something that in, in previous years I have wanted to do something about this and I did it's just that I never got around to fully uh, manufacturing uh, my own wing with my own way of doing things and so I did away with all these cables and all these lines and I decided to make it a strut cableless uh, braced uh, wing as you'll see it in my uh, next portion of this video. This is just an introductory to the parasail, the typical parasail with all these lines and cables and I mean when it works it works but every time you land these line, lines get tangled up and you have to untangle them so it takes a little bit of of the fun away from a, a model of this type because the wing is not strutted as the MIA microflight aircraft is done the wing under heavy gusts of wing it has a tendency to deform when the wing is flying under normal mild conditions it, it works beautifully but if you encounter a gust of wind it is likely to deform the wing and uh, if you're unlucky you know it's going to bring you down there are some people that have gotten killed in paraplanes or paragliders or paramotors because of that fact because the wing is a flexible wing and it tends to deform under heavy gusts so most of the, the paraglider pilots that fly these things they fly typically in uh, early in the morning or in the evenings when uh, the, the wind is very very calm and so that's the uh, one of the requirements is if you're uh, you know smart and, and safe uh, a pilot of the real thing 
Well, the models are no different. So you have to uh, fly these types of uh, wings in very uh, low wind or no wind conditions so that the wing does not deform on you and you, your model comes crashing down. So that is the main reason why I have not dived into this particular uh, area of the, the hobby. I mean, we've done pretty much everything here in MIA Microflight. So we've done helicopters, we've, we've done ultralights, we've done uh, microlights, we've done uh, auto gyros, we've done uh, land sails uh, or land sailors or land yachts. Uh, we've done buggies, we've done boats, we've done motorcycles, we've done some other things that I am going to keep those uh, a secret for, for a while. And, and now we're diving into this, but without the complexity of these cables. So I wanted to bring this uh, into focus and just to talk about these uh, particular wings. So the MIA Microflight uh, strutted cableless wing here that you see. I placed this one on top of this uh, typical parasail with the cables just so that you can see the main differences here. Okay, and the idea behind this also came because most of our ultralights is the one you see it behind. That's a Quicksilver style MIA uh, ultralight. It's also done with struts. These are carbon struts and we use those as well on our radio control micro lights. We don't use cables. The original Quicksilver ultralight, the real one, used a kink post and it had guy wires or cables at the top of the wing and also at the bottom. Likewise with uh, some of the older style micro lights, they use cables, a kink post and cables. So we did away with all those cables long, long time ago. And that's the reason why I'm also including them here and this particular parasail has been designed in that way. You know, to use the carbon struts as the supports for, for the wing. Now, the uh, lengths of these particular rods are what give the wing the proper angles, and, um, and those have to be set. And as you will see it in my next video, uh, my trial flights, you can see that I, I did about five takes, and the model finally... Uh, was tweaked and flew great. So I will continue to do more videos, flight videos, but this is uh, the beginning of this um, particular uh, style parafoil. And I'm going to venture to say that this is the world's first radio control cableless strut brace parasail in the world right now. I have searched high and low to see if I can find something similar and I have not found anything similar done in both real or model form. There is one video that I stumbled upon uh, in uh, the last two days. I was also searching. I keep searching this, uh, these things uh, daily. And there's one company that uh, inserted a mast, a direct mast to a car. So they're flying a car with uh, with a parasail but they're still using the, the cables on the parasail this is strictly no cables at all just struts you know to shape the wing and give it the uh, proper angles that it needs to fly these wings fly a bit different than a micro light or even a typical ultra light and so uh, you have to know a little bit about uh, how these things operate before you can venture into making a, a real one or even you know a radio control one in the next segment of this video, you will see the first uh, test flights. Uh, initially, I had this model uh, uh, set up to glide. Uh, it, has a, it had a nice glide ratio, and I did those trials in my backyard, but I decided to take it to the field. Unfortunately, May is, uh, it gets a little bit windy here in Arizona, and so I had to deal with uh, some heavy wind last night when I flew this uh, uh, for the first time, you know, in the uh, area that I typically fly these models. But finally I got on the fifth take, I got it uh, to fly properly, even under windy conditions. The idea behind the strut braced parasail wing can also be applied to the real thing. I mean, if it works in model form, it will also work in real form and vice versa, provided we maintain an understanding of the laws of aerodynamics as it applies to parafoils or the particular type of uh, aircraft. 
So anyway, this is Mario MIA Microflight, just giving you a, a glimpse at uh, the differences between the MIA Microflight EC 1.25 cableless strut brace parasail. First one and only one right now in the world as compared to a typical parasail that uses multiple lines and cables. Very cumbersome to, uh, to adjust, to tweak and as opposed to the simplicity of the MA Microflight strut braced cableless parasail as seen here. Stay tuned for the flight test videos. This is Mario with MIA Microflight and today is May 24, 2018. In this video you are viewing the MIA paraglider. Now, this particular one is strutted. It's a cableless paraglider. As you can see here there's the wing very simple design and I'll talk a little bit more about this but I just want to get a, the maiden flight uh, going here the sun is about to go down so anyway let me assemble a paraglider and I designed this so that I can remove the wing put it in the back of my car and remove the trike the trike is very similar to the MIA 1.25 easy trikes which are the uh, RC micro lights that we produce uh, but it this one has um, some uh, 3D printed parts uh, and so that's what you're seeing here. I'm going to be installing this. All these things are very similar installation to the ultralights and microlights that we sell uh, which uh, also use the MIA trademark hardware that we use consistently on all our microlight, ultralight, autogyro, land yacht and now parasail products. So I'll assemble this uh, real quick and I'll come back to this video. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can capture it with my camera here. So basically this simply folds, all these lines are, are set up so they can fold. I just gotta grab the right pieces here. Now the reason I decided to do this is because I never really care for the paragliders, not not because they're, they're not cool designs, I mean they're pretty cool uh, aircraft, but the the lines, so many lines that they use on the real ones as well as the, the radio control ones, and I've never seen one to this day that uses uh, struts, you know, for uh, simplicity, and uh, you know, it just makes more common sense to me to use struts instead of the lines uh, both for the radio control one as well as the real one so this can be transferred to the real ones as well I have searched high and low to see if anybody has done a cableless paraglider meaning a strut brace paraglider but I have not found any and this is not something that I just dreamt up I mean I've, I've had this this idea it's been lingering with me for many many years but I just needed to bite the bullet and just do it And uh, I want it to be simple, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm reusing one of my Quicksilver Ultralight wings, except that I enlarged this uh, a bit uh, more so that it grabs a little more air. I tested this really brief in my backyard and uh, it picked up quite nicely. So I'm hoping that this will fly right off the bat here. I mean, I, I flew it for a little bit. In my backyard, but since I don't have the room there, I decided uh, just to stop and come to the field and properly fly it. I was hoping to go to the other field, the one with the grass field by the school, but they have some event going on there and uh, they locked the door so I can't access that. 
but I guess this will have to do. I mean, it's a little rough ground here, but. Okay. And basically the same uh, control as the auto gyros, the uh, micro lights, same thing. It's a uh, Elevon control. I got the brake lines. Let me plug in the battery. Okay. Make sure my controls work. Left, right, left, right. Okay. Already. Easy, easy does it, easy. Okay. That's pretty windy now. I picked up uh, some kind of a rock or something. are correct here. Okay, I may need to adjust this. It's a little windy. Yeah. <laughs> 